Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On today's video, we are going to be making the Whistle Pig Pork Belly Cheeseburger. Let's get going. So the Whistle Pig Pork Belly Cheeseburger is my own creation. It is a 50-50 blend of ground filet mignon with a very well-marbled ground beef short rib. We're using Kurabuda pork belly, just seasoned and smoked, and then a really good kind of a caramelized onion concoction using Whistle Pig rye. And this video is not sponsored by Whistle Pig at all, but it's a really good rye, very complex. And then also we're making a, uh, just a really good kind of a basic burger sauce. We're gonna start out by seasoning these strips of pork belly. So here's that pork belly and this is Kurabuda pork. I mean, this is just a premium, premium pork. And I'm going to season this. Just use any seasoning you want. This again is not bacon. It has not been cured. It has not been smoked. And on this I'm using uh, Cosmos. This is his sweet honey uh, pecan rub. Looks good. All right, let's get this pork on the pit. So for this cook, we're using that Yoder YS640. I have the two piece diffuser plate and I have the trap door removed. So I'm getting direct heat underneath the um, grill grates here. And I'm just gonna place the pork off to the side. We're running it about 370 degrees and we're burning hickory. All right, let's move on to the next step, which is going to be a very quick and easy burger sauce. So let's add one half cup of mayo. One tablespoon of a hot mustard. This hot mustard was actually bought by a friend of mine for me at Philippe's French Dip Deli in LA. So thanks Rich, this stuff's really good. But any you know nice hot spicy mustard would work. I have here uh, one tablespoon of dill relish, one tablespoon of tomato ketchup, one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon paprika, a couple dashes of a Louisiana hot sauce, we'll get this mixed up. There we go, looks great. I'm going to get this in the refrigerator and then we'll get going on that, the caramelized onions. Have the cast iron skillet heated up here. I'm gonna add a little olive oil. To the oil, I'm going to add some onion and this is sweet onion and Spanish onion. I wanted a nice kind of a combination of that really sweet onion with the kind of bite that the, the yellow Spanish onion has. I'm just going to keep these onions moving. What we want to do is cook out a lot of this water and get it kind of a translucent look before we move on to the next step. The onions have softened up and they're taking on that kind of a golden color. Now I have here two ounces of bone broth. And this is salted, so I won't be adding salt to this. It doesn't need any salt. Just cooking that in. Now I'm going to add two ounces of that whistle pig rye. And now all I'm going to do is just keep this moving, let this cook down. I want to get that nice caramelized color. And think about it with the rye, it's very complex. There's several layers of flavor. I mean, there's that, that kind of fresh baked bread flavor. There's a honey flavor, a vanilla flavor, kind of a spicy pepper flavor. And as this cooks down, all those flavors intensify. This is really good stuff. And here we are about 30 minutes later, and look at that. Just beautiful, caramely, sweet. This is good stuff. Let's move on to the next step. All right, the pork belly's looking good. It's starting to render down, getting some nice color. Now we're going to give it a little love on the uh, grill grates here.
All right, that's looking good. We'll get it back over here. Shut the lid. We're just going to let it render down a little bit more before we get that burger patty on. And we've just seasoned the grill grates with some good porky deliciousness. Pork belly is looking really, really good. And again, this isn't bacon. We're not trying to get it really crisp. It's actually very thick. I just want it nice and cooked. Let's get that patty down. So again, 50% filet mignon, 50% beef short rib. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Get it down. A little bit more seasoning. And we're going for that medium, medium rare doneness here. All right, now for the cheese, we're going with one slice of sharp cheddar, provolone, another slice of that sharp cheddar, dome it. All right, that looks good. Get this off, set it next to the pork belly here, let it chill out a little bit while we toast those buns. So I have your brioche buns, just buttered. There we go, that's what I'm looking for, just some grill marks. Let's make a burger. All right, first thing we're gonna do is lay down that sauce I made. It's a very, very savory sauce, hint of heat. A little smoky from that paprika. Bring that burger down. That pork belly. Again, just nice and unctuous. A lot of savoriness, porkiness. That rye, that whiskey infused caramelized onions, which smell amazing. Crown this bad boy. And one more thing. How cool does that look? So I found that little branding iron at an antique store. I don't know what it was used for, but it's now mine. It's just coincidental, it looks like my logo. Very cool. Okay, so again, I was going for that medium rare to medium doneness. Let's see how I did here. Again, just top quality meat, top quality everything. And there we go. Very nice, very nice indeed. Let's give this a try. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh. <laughs> this burger absolutely screams savory. I mean, everything about it is just so savory that the onions are insane. Um, you can actually pick up that the whiskey, that rye. Again, you get that kind of you know, that kind of baked bread, that fresh baked bread flavor going on, the sweetness of the onions, and then all those complex flavors going on in the rye. You know, a little honey, kind of a honey note, a little pepper, good stuff. That sauce is killer. And I kind of based that off of the, the Shake Shack's Shack Sauce Copycat. It's, it's just, I found a really good foundation to build off of and, and to tweak, you know, make into different sauces. Um, that pork belly, great. Again, it um, has that very savory porkiness, some smokiness, and then some of the little sweetness from Cosmo's rub there, um, the brioche. And the funny thing is, is even that brand that I burned in here, um, and that's the first time I've done that with this branding iron here, it, uh, it actually added a nice kind of a char flavor, and, and also to the nose when you're bringing it up, you could kind of smell that, that char, and, uh, and it was good, really good. Wow. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video. Keep those requests coming in. Cheers.